Hey Cornerstone, I am super excited to announce that we are gonna be regathering in person starting August 16th. Now I know when you hear this, some of you are going, oh man, finally, and you couldn't be more thrilled. You've been kind of withering at the vine uh, doing the online services and you'll be rushing back in the room. But I know just as equally true, there are some of you that would feel like and say, hey, wow, it feels like maybe we're stepping in a little early. I'm not sure why we pulled uh, the trigger now. Look, here's the deal. We've already said this a couple of times. There is no perfect time. And we've simply have waited to a moment that we feel really, really comfortable that we can do services in a safe way for everybody. And so we're choosing to reopen, but that means you get a choice on the deal too. If you feel comfortable coming in person to services, then come. And for some of you that go, man, I'm just, I'm just not ready yet. Well, then we're gonna be streaming online all of our services still. So nothing's been lost for you and keep doing that until you get to the point of being comfortable coming. I totally get it. Uh, I've got an 84 year old mom living with me right now. I've had to live this COVID thing differently than I would have lived it if I hadn't had that going on. So you have reasons, you have things that have concern for you and you're just not ready to meet in person, then don't, don't. Watch online, be part of that until you feel comfortable coming back in person. Uh, here's what you do need to know if you think about coming back. We are gonna be meeting and exceeding all of the CDC uh, guidelines. We're gonna do everything to make this place as safe as humanly possible. We're also asking that everybody, when you enter the buildings, that you wear a face mask. Now look, I know some of you hate those face masks. I hate those face masks. But the reality is there is a kindness, there's a grace that we give to other people when we wear them because nobody knows whether or not you're sick or whether or not you're carrying germs. And so you get into a room and you cough or you sneeze, or maybe you're dealing with, you know, at whatever that is, then everybody in the room has to be concerned. And so there's just a kindness when you and I choose to wear a face mask. The truth is, I think this is not just socially acceptable, I think it's biblical. You know, scripture talks about uh, in the Corinthian church, there was a struggle about whether or not you could eat meat offered to idols. And here's what Paul said, hey, if you're in a room and the people in the room struggle with the idea of eating meat sacrificed to idols, then don't do it. Even if in your mind, you know, those idols aren't real, there is no God behind them and you feel comfortable, don't do it for the sake of those who would struggle with you doing that. And so I'm just saying to everyone who hates the masks as much as I do, wear a mask, wear a mask for your brothers and your sisters. Be kind and gracious to them. Don't make them feel uncomfortable in your effort to feel comfortable for yourself. So we're saying when you enter the buildings, please be wearing the face mask. And if you're not willing to do that, if you think we're infringing on your freedoms, then stay home and watch online until that's no longer a requirement. Uh, we are gonna be holding uh, classes for kids. And again, this is your choice. If as a parent, you feel comfortable putting your kids in a class, do that. The reality is it's gonna be much harder to socially distance kids. We can't guarantee that, but we can guarantee that we're gonna be cleaning and sanitizing and doing everything we can on their behalf. You can take them into service if you want to, or you can stay home. Youth are gonna be uh, meeting again also. So all of those will be available to you. Again, it's your choice, you decide. Chandler is gonna start with uh, three services. We're gonna start at 9.05, we're gonna have a 10.35, and then an 11.55 service. Our satellite campuses are gonna be at 10.35. So that's when we'll be available, that's when you can come in person or you can watch online any other time. Now here's the big, 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 big deal. Would you RSVP? You simply need to go to our website, uh, check on RSVP and, and let us know that you're coming. Here's why. Because we are working so hard to create social distancing in our auditoriums, we need to know how many people are coming in. Actually, we need to limit the number of people who can come in any service, which means if more of you are coming back than we expect, we're actually gonna have to open up more services, more options for everybody. But the last thing we wanna do is get to a service and have to turn people away because the socially distanced room is already at capacity. So please, 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 this is so critical. RSVP, let us know that you're coming. Let us know if you're checking your kids into classes. And then here's the last thing. If there's a question you've got and we didn't answer it just now, go to the website. We've done our very best to put everything that you could ever wanna know on the website. Uh, check it out there. 
you'll find what you need. Hey guys, I'm excited. I hope to either see you in person or online uh, coming up on August 16th.